the families of the kidnapped bride with 63 wedding guests from Gamji village of Sabwa local government area of Katsina state have resorted to prayers for divine intervention. This follows the resolve by the state government not to negotiate or pay ransom to secure the release of the captives. The government instead reassured of its commitment to rescuing the victims unhurt. Well, Trust TV's Abdullah Yamadi has more on the details. The video released by the bandits threatening to remarry off the bride to one of their own and the remaining women among the abductees if they fail to pay 100 million naira ransom has left residents of Gamji village, especially their immediate families, shaken. The horrible condition of their loved ones in captivity is what they frequently talked about, but unwilling to talk to strangers for the fear of the unknown. Residents are looking disturbed, confused and traumatized by the shocking video, saying they are helpless. Though Gamji is a farming community, but 100 million naira appears too much for the residents to bear, hence the compassionate appeal to relevant authorities to assist. When the driver came, in the evening, I, as the grandfather of the bride, insisted that the journey should be abandoned till the next morning due to insecurity. But he said we should pray for him and the rest of his passengers and promised to follow routes considered safer. I even offered to pay additional 10,000 naira should he postpone the journey until the next morning. But he insisted on going. Now, this is where we are. Well, I'm still appealing to the government to look into our plight and do something about our loved ones in the hands of bandits. I'm the elder brother of the bride. I know how we feel. It is terrible. Just put yourself in our shoes. Maybe you will understand our conditions. We can't eat, we can't sleep, all as a result of this abduction. This lady was among the abductees, but later escaped after three days in captivity. He said that the situation there is horrible and against what was shown in the video. According to her, victims are beaten mercilessly and humiliated daily with little or nothing to eat. However, the Commissioner of Internal Security and Home Affairs Nasir Namusa in a telephone conversation with Trust TV in Kazina recently said the state government will neither negotiate nor pay ransom to bandits. He further pointed out that frantic efforts to rescue the victims on heart is ongoing, calling on Gamji residents to exercise patience. Public affairs commentators in Kazuna said there is rays of hope from the recent rescue operations carried out by security operatives in Kazuna, calling for more synergy to end banditry. Abdullahi Ismayamadi. Trust Television News.